And now we're live. Yeah. How are we doing? Yeah. It is feels good we're to be couple, live. We're a couple minutes early. I don't know if we have yeah. anybody online yet. Uh, you guys have to talk while I do. We can All right. talk. Well, so here's the deal. Uh, Mark's gone. Drew's gone. Good so, uh, yeah. we, we doubled Good down. We got a bunch of guys with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> really straight put you out the way. Yeah. We've got a couple people that are it's player bases. We got a new guy here too. tonight, Eric. We're a yeah. little bit younger. We're yeah. Players. Younger, better looking Not guys, more guys hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I know that uh, Mark and Drew got to live stream, what, yesterday, two days ago? Looks like they're having a good time on their trip. Uh, we're very happy for them. While watching, they're gone, we're, we're going to drink a bunch of the scotch that they oh. brought over. Thank you, Mark and Drew. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's always good, right? It's a fair trip and, uh, you know, Thursdays, this is what we usually do anyway. Um, yep, some it, of it's, uh, Yeah, it's, uh, you know, some of these some guys of don't get to come over as often yeah. as uh, we'd like them to, but uh, Early. we still enjoy it, right? When Drew and Mark are away, the Mice will play. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so tonight we were talking about uh, the video that we just released, Lafroy Select. Uh, we weren't all that impressed with this particular offering from Lafroy, uh, which was disappointing because we love Lafroy. We do. Uh, we've had friend. many of their labels. We're big fans oh, of stuff oh. like the Quarter Cask. This is not that. Uh, yeah, no. This one is like a watery, like it smells like it might be Laphroaig, and then you try it, and it's just not, no, not Laphroaig at all. And it's kind of disappointing because you spent money on the bottle, and you thought you were getting Laphroaig, and what you got was not what you thought you were going to get. Select is a little misleading. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't exactly tell you what they selected. Well, no, it does. They, they're, it's select cast where it's, they put different things and the It has the and... smell of rubber, but it tastes very watery. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the not problem. rubber, that's peat. And that's not really a great it's marketing a peat. strategy. It's peat. No, I mean, it's no. peat. It is peat right there. Now, but I'm, it tastes water. I'm sure that this is probably meant to be like an entry level offering into Lafroy for people that have never had a peaty scotch. Are a little bit nervous about trying it. Maybe smell it and think that it tastes like you know smell. might taste like death. Uh, but they give it a shot anyway. Why would they do that as an entry? To, like, because well, I'm with you. Because now I'm like I'm, well, right off. I'm, I'm not. Right. I've entered and now well, I'm exiting. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> the door <laughs> kind of goes around. Like there that. are there are peaty scotches that I could open in the basement and it would make the basement smell. Not like with smoke a case of or ash or whatever. Or this, um, I mean, you you do get a lot of the I definitely get the the, char the yeah. charcoal richness of But Lafroy. then you taste it and it's just watery. I was going to say, are most not are accompanied by a, a very oily yes. taste? Yes. I mean, there's no oil green taste green. to this at all. Too. It's, it's just really a kind of a disappointing. Yeah, I'll have some in a minute. So it's, no, I'm not drinking this. It's, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not sure what market they were actually going for. I guess it's an entry level kind of thing. Yeah, I, I so now Hoagie. Hey, we got dummies, dummies in training. We got dummies in training. So we're going to comment on that. That's us. Little float. Yeah. 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 D.I.T. Yeah. 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 They call us D.I.T. That would be qualified to be a dummy. We got J.M. and Andrew and Telex online. I don't even know how to work the water Mars thing. Mars Pan. Mars Pan. Telex, that's the first one. Telex always gets in there on that. So my view with LaFroy, and if you look at the review online and and look at some of the comments, and Hoagie Bear had it pretty well analyze it it's it's kind of one of those you're probably some young marketing guy got into Lafroy and said hey here's a market we can get to and the guys that uh, on aisle are like why would whatever. we want to get into that <laughs> <laughs> whatever we can sell some of the stuff we can't get rid of otherwise and we'll try it so they they put this together and it's you know Lafroy 10 so when you start with an entry level scotch or like Lafroy it's it's heavy it's you can't a lot of people can't get through that and once you and if you're not going to, if you can't get through 10, you're definitely not going to try the 15, 18, 25. Well, so try select. Let's water it down. Let's keep that a little bit of that Lafroy signature, but not just knock them in the face with it. And what they did was created Lafroy select, which for us, those like of us that love Lafroy, it's a disappointment. And for those that have like tried Lafroy, that was adding water and accidentally dumped too much in and was like, we're going to call it select. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's, it's about the cast. They, 
let's see, they mm -hmm. um, selected their, okay, they, they kept them in their regular cast for a certain number of years, and then they kind of split them up around quarter cast, um, they put in some, or they put in some quarter cast, they put in some PX cast, and triple wood into that, to kind of blend it to add more richness and some body, body to it, and they didn't add enough of those other casts, I think, to make this really... A, yeah, because I like those other casks. I don't taste any of that in this. This one hit my tongue and just felt bitter, and it didn't cling to anything. It didn't. You know, we're gonna lose all sponsorship from Lafroy. Sorry. Well, you know what? Should have tried a little bit. The problem isn't this. Don't do this again. The problem is that we love the other bottles. Like the quarter cask is amazingly good and very reasonably priced. I love the Lafroy quarter cask. This is not that. So I would just rather spend a little bit of extra money and get on there. Hey, Hoagie! Good to see you. It's like Coke Zero. It's like four in the morning in Germany. <laughs> Coke Zero, that's awful. <laughs> I like Coke Zero. Okay. Better than Diet Coke. Okay. It's better than Diet Coke. Way better than Diet Coke. I didn't say it was better I drink a lot of coffee. I said it was Coke so Zero. I'm yeah. not the one to ask. <laughs> like a lot. Hey, we're streaming. Yes, sir. Bad. <laughs> All right, let me see what we got going on here. Bad streaming. It's probably the White Castle. Now, keep in mind that Andrew's our <laughs> tech guy while uh, Drew's away. And uh, we're doing the best we can to make it. Make it work for us. I don't know if we'll. Uh, Brand per second, kilobit per second seemed to be good. Somebody's I don't know stealing what. our bad bandwidth. Oh no, we got lots of bad. We're, yeah, we're hard <laughs> right here. All right, so we may be buffering a little bit, so we apologize for that. But we'll do the best we can over the next two weeks until Drew gets back and takes over our uh, technology. <laughs> well, he got like the super high power Mac, and I got like the five year old laptop. So, so <laughs> Hoagie messaged me today and was like, hey, if you don't have anybody to help you guys out tonight, you can stream me in. And I was like, I think that's probably beyond our capability. <laughs> Dude, if we I don't think we're qualified to do all that. Like one <laughs> <per minute. laughs> we're, uh, not that we wouldn't have you, Hoagie, but uh, I don't think we're qualified to do all that. We need another computer. Absolutely. Absolutely. You don't have any laptop, so you're all no, like, oh, I, you have yeah, But I can bring some. I did not. I drank the whole thing neat. I should have drank water. But it it had, wouldn't have helped. It had yeah. enough water. <laughs> Um, it yeah. really did. You know what? Yeah, and you're not even a, a yeah. scotch guy all the time, and you can tell that it tastes like water down The beer. first PD scotch that you guys had me try. You don't have any wood glasses. The taste stayed with me the rest of the entire <laughs> night. Like, I could still right. taste Pete the next morning. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> you do. Can I try one? Yeah, go ahead, man. To compare. It doesn't yeah, taste like so what it smells. No? No, it doesn't. It for a split second. So what is that? This is Big Brother. To so tell Alex yeah, to tell me totally. the stream is good. So uh, all right, well then if we're all right, we're you. all right. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. All right. So one of the traditions we're starting is we're supposed to take a picture of ourselves, post oh. to Facebook. Can you do that on your phone? Sure. And then you guys out there will show us what you're drinking, post it, add Ooh, it to yeah. the text, and everybody. We'll show you ours if you show us. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's why we got the doctor in the house. <laughs> We got to take a Turn and cough. put it on Facebook. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, my arms aren't long enough to do all this like Drew does. Yeah, we'll we'll give it a shot, man. Andrew, all right, we'll, we'll get up here. Gotta go, get right. Everybody yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, everybody squeeze in. Lights in. There we go. Yeah. Hey. And. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hey, dear. No. It's too late now. Right. Take it. Save so, for posterity, right? So, yeah. you know, the, the interesting thing about that, I was looking at our statistics earlier, and you know, we released a video last week and had 300 and some views within a week. And we released this one that has the name Lafroy on it, and it like blew up. We've had over 400 views on it already in like wow. three days. And it's all about the brand name. Because last week we did the this uh, select cast that it, it was a, what is it? Scotch with uh, Creative Whiskey Company's uh, select exclusive malt. And now, actually, the, the nice thing about that is exclusive malt. Message us on Facebook this week is like they they shared that uh, that link out to their their subscribers and it's like good good blowing communication and blowing it up but because we love that it's like that's great Lafroy I got to be careful because I've got like three not as fond of this one on there. <laughs> what I don't, I don't want to post this on the what you restaurant think? web page I it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so we got to smell it got to run both both nostrils because one nostril typically smells stronger than the other. It does, yeah. Wow. You're supposed to know that. <laughs> so you get one suck, smells suck, like baby. <laughs> and the other one smells like more baby. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and then so so that will help uh, now pair your palate and then they're still look pretty small. 
There's a pretty strong smell coming from an empty glass. Absolutely. I mean, the smell uh, is still and there. Actually, uh, there's some scotches that you you uh, once you drink it all, uh, the empty glass can give you some extra notes that you didn't get before. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not. You're not. That's uh, pretty amazing. There's uh, a lot of smells. Well, there. we got other bottles. If you want to, if you're yeah. done with this, we got other stuff for you, man. Yeah, the peaty stuff is hard to start with. All right, so we got yeah, some discussion going on. I'm more of a bourbon guy, so uh, I'll tell you what. So Corey's it. back in. We have another guy. Try a try that one. There's discussion going on about Corey back Burgundy. In. Burgundy cask finish. Yeah. So Hoagie's getting some slow waves over the ocean. <laughs> Man, we're doing our best, Ogie. Yeah, I'm Sorry, trying. Bud. You're lucky you're not trying to stream to us and Must then go back out across. There's a storm. Yeah, Sorry. there's a storm across the ocean. <laughs> we do the best we can with what we've got. Okay, nice. So we're it's hoping that uh, second, Mark and Drew are out there somewhere. I don't know if they'll be on with us, but... Um, they're sleeping. They're supposed to be picking us up some good stuff. Oh, there we, we go. go. Back. I, I had to close her mind. I'm, this, I got multiple streams coming in. Man, don't plug me. <laughs> I think you're good. I'll, uh, all right, so our stream should be better now. Good. Let's hopefully see what happens. All right, so we're good. We're good. We're, we're, we're good. All right, so Telex would love to try the PX, the QA, the 15, the 18. Man, apparently <laughs> Telex like, wants to try them all because I don't know if he's. Not. I don't Other know. Than ten, maybe. Oh, we, yeah, we enjoyed the Lafroy. Oh, oh, so Lafroy has multiple multiple bottlings. They have the ten that. is their entry. They have well, 15, 18. Smelling. They've got uh, PX catch, which is uh, it's been matured in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. Um, so it's really it's you get that smoked peat and then you add a bunch of sweet to it. And I, we haven't tried it. I think that PX cask is only available right behind travel retail. Behind me. So we're still trying to. We happen to have oh, yeah. a couple guys in uh, uh, Ireland and Scotland now that we're hoping to pick up from that CX to travel retail on the way back. So that would be nice to have. Um, so let's see what else there. So, okay, the 214 Carderas yesterday. This portion of Scott for Heaven is probably. My wife has. What you are eating? Steamed sandwiches. That's what's ruining the nose in this place. It's a White Castle burger. It smells like steamed onions. You would have brought, <laughs> brought White Castle to a Scotch drink, by the way. For those of you around the world who don't know what White Castle is, uh, oh, the cheapest you, burger you you're lucky. Steamed meat. There you go. You're lucky. Yeah, there you go. All. You don't so much as you. Are there more in there? It's you nice because you don't have to have. Oh, yeah, there's more. You don't have to have teeth to eat a White Castle. Burger. Thirty you in there. Kind of... You don't have to have toilet paper to get rid of one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this, this makes no toilet paper necessary. Oh, I don't have those screens. Well, it's, so this uh, is this is the crave cast. <laughs> the crave cast. Crave cast. It'll uh, crave, crave it will kill you. Crave strength. It absolutely will kill you. I've taken the lead. I've never met a live person that ate three slices of insane. You're hurt. No, oh, I'll say that. So let me. So I almost bought this one. You know what? That one. I'm glad you did. I, I Is that right? Oh yeah, it's almost gone. Go ahead oh, and hit it, man. Get the sure? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. So ch tell me if this is on the screen. It is. It's <laughs> that, that is what forty nine cents American dollars. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, this is how America has a cholesterol and obesity. <laughs> it cleanses the palate. And it the also colon. cleanses the gut. <laughs> it also cleanses yeah, it, the colon. It, I guess it cures what ails you. I Actually, know, the, the pickle really makes it you. good. Okay. The pickle is great. And you can just <laughs> gnaw on it and just kind of. Because you can't chew through it. You know, you know what my favorite part of White Castle is? Down, is that. that uh, every oh, Valentine's Day, they do the uh, the whole tablecloth deal. I know. Oh, right. right. yeah. Cheap rednecks take their girlfriends yeah. out there. That's <laughs> awesome. Cheap <laughs> rednecks is a harsh term. Right? That's a mean. Who else goes on that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for Valentine's Day. Make America just great. Sean. I'm Thank working on it, man. <laughs> I'm working on it. I, uh, I don't it's go out for hot. Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, ooh. When did I really start with that. What Scotch pairs with with that other one? White Castle. Oh, good. Jim, oh, like, dry, Jim's asking. Oh, what do we pair with? Hot, that? Yeah. Yeah. I bet Ardbeg would go well just because it I would cover so. up the flavor. You need some like, <laughs> uh, strong palate, and something to go with the onion, wood and onions. I think goes together. Yeah, I, yeah. Let's go with the Ardbeg. What, what, what Scotch what? pairs with White Castle? <laughs> 
<laughs> Every more scotch pairs yeah, yeah. with White Castle. I think we should dip the White Castle in, in a scotch. Ooh, Alex said buy it by the sack. <laughs> <laughs> so Hoagie's having some sound in this I'm still getting a good stream here. Aged so. in White Castle barrels. White Castle. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's steamy goodness right there. Coincidentally. <laughs> That hamburger was aged for 15 years before you ate it. <laughs> I went to 21. And, I ran out of 21. and it didn't change one bit. No, that, that, hey, no, that's White Castle 30. Yeah, that's the White Castle 30. That's the 30. That's the 30. You can't beat that. I, they start out very I'm oily. I'm still amazed that that place is still <laughs> operational. Uh, Operate, they're thriving. They're thriving. Yeah, I know. Blowing it up. I drove by, like, I know guys that would. <laughs> For this. 30 mm -hmm. Once they have a few glasses of scotch, they're going to want cold White Castle. So yeah. Robert's asking about the, the where's the prize? The White Castle prize. They, they only ate nine, one size. Did not get the crinkle fries. Well, when you're buying a 30 pack, you don't need fries. You don't right. <laughs> the fries are excellent. That's a good one. <laughs> so Jim was having some issues. There are some technical issues around, but I think our stream is better now. So if you drop out, come back in, we should be better. The stream is strong. The stream is strong with this one. It will be. <laughs> brought to you by White Castle. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's worse things to be brought to you by, right? You'll be yeah. calling in sick for work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <I will. laughs> so, do we have anybody on Facebook? Did anybody respond yeah. to that Facebook? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you try that? No. I'm busy talking about White Castle. Yeah. yeah. Which one? It's, it's, it's fantastic, isn't it? Like, uh, it is a different. It's very different from what we different from what you started with. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bourbon does not span that range of differences. That's still like bourbon. Katie liked our post from uh, she's in Alabama, so of course she did. We're good. We look great. We do look great. Yeah. Sliding. Much younger crowd now. Right? Sliding. We're drawing a different demographic at this point. Different the wives and family. Although I like the Delmar. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, like you, would, you would have what we would call an expensive taste. <laughs> Not a cheap day. But you know, it's good to know that you're uh, like you got a good palate. Like yeah, so let's, let's put that up there. Let's, let's talk about that. I like that. So Chad brought this side. This is the bottle we haven't tried before. If you want to put that up close to the camera so we can see it. Oh, let me just, just see. check it out. Oh. We haven't actually uh, reviewed that one. We so. Oh, so I shouldn't drink all of it. No, don't drink all of it. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, All right, so single it's, right. it's it's a yeah, that, 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 that. not it's not an expensive bottle, and it's actually really a, a easy drinking scotch. It's great for newcomers to scotch. It's it's bright. It's light. It's yeah. Sweet. I'm not a scotch guy. I I like that. That was good. It's a really nice nice bottle. I, Super sure sweet. Review it. Yeah, well, I mean we got some good stuff. Uh, this guy brought us uh, the uh, uh, Balvini single barrel fifteen year. So we'll, uh, we'll have to do that one. And it's very tasty. Yeah. This one was, uh, we all sampled that one just because it was here, and why not? Um, well, yeah, you got it. And, and we enjoyed it. Yeah. There may even be some when Mark and Drew get back. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> How long are they going to be gone? <laughs> Two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They log in tonight. We can do it. Oh, yeah. What we need to do is uh, type in their garage code and go finish some stuff at their bar. <laughs> I know Mark got some old scotch he got from some friends. So, so is he? Are they buying scotch or whiskeys over there? They're trying to, they're 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 buying, to get some red breast. They need to bring back another Middleton. Middleton. All right, so Telex, Telex recognizes Singleton. What do you know about the Singleton, Telex? So it's 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 distilled by Glen Dillon, which is something which is a distiller we haven't tried before, but they're on our established list in 1897. 1897. So well. Well, that's hit them pretty hard. Oh, Hoagie's got yeah. it working now. What? Yeah, Hoagie's got it working. All right. <laughs> yeah, Hoagie, we brought in a bunch of people, man. Everybody wants to be online here. Yeah. And eat White Castle. Anytime you're here, man. Grab me one. Stop on by. <laughs> got a glass for you. Uh, so, uh, so uh, man, what, everybody's talking about the single bit. Like, that, that's been tasted a lot. Yeah. Um, well, for that price, I would imagine. Well, Jim had a, Jim said he had a single tin in my hand last week. Don't know the story. The distillery wrote, Singleton must be the brand because it's the Singleton, but it's it's from Glenn Dolan Distillery. Um, so I will need to look them up and we'll, we'll do a review on them. Thirty-two bucks. Yeah, thirty-two bucks. That's about right. Well, we're seeing they, they yeah. robbed me because I mine was thirty-eight plus tax. What? 
Super smooth, very you know sweet. What? But it was from North Salem, Indiana. That, that's the one thing about this. We get prices from everywhere. You know, yeah. Canada, yeah. Australia. Yeah. Got a real right. sugary start and then a so, vanilla. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny, the, the, the difference is in the price. Butter. And it was the one that was by itself with a little bit of dust on its oh, shoulder. You felt, you felt got, no, right. got no dusty. Absolutely. That is, that is right. a, that is a thing. It was dusty. either going to be god awful or. It was going to be okay. Hey, man, we'll, so, we've so, had the god awful right? ones too. Yeah, White Light Media talks about it, reminds him of Oban, which is not far off. I not smoky, not that. Meat, but nice, dark, subtle, full yeah. flavor. Yeah, I, I like Very it. pretty. Yeah, very pretty. I thought um, it was buttery. Buttery, mm -hmm. vanilla, smooth. It tasted the butter. Uh, yeah. so, so Curtis says that uh, the 18 year old is pretty good. So, really? Oh, there's an 18. Mm, we may need right. to hit that one. Okay. Look for it. We may need to find that. $45. We'll look for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look for it. I think 18 is going to be well over 60. You think uh, you I don't know. We've seen some. Uh, do, you, do you ever find two of them together, or is it by like law? You can only have one alone. No, it depends. I mean, would it be a double tin? Triple tin? <laughs> it's by I see what you did there. You can well, only see it. A singleton. If anybody wants to log out right no now. No good. That was no good. That was no good. <laughs> Nobody liked that. Show. It was by itself. Nobody liked it that. Was show. By itself. No, I, I was putting that together. You found it by itself. I mean, it was right. really weird. The <laughs> bottle, the head of the bottle was drooped over. It was sad. Right. Sad, sad bottle. Sad. It's got mind. a fish on it. <laughs> Trademark of a fish. Singleton. Get it? It's a smart crowd. I'm not going to dumb it down for you guys. I I would hope that anything 18 year old would be good, but we've had some 18s that were less than spectacular. Less than it's all say. based on number one, your new make. Is your is your initial whiskey you put in the barrel decent? And then how do you age it? What kind of barrels? Are they? Well, how about are that they leaky, uh, stinky barrels? Or are they good quality? Was it uh, Glen Devron that 20 year? Yeah, that wasn't great. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think Mark got that one, and it was uh, shot uh, shot or. Uh, Drew got a bunch in, in St. Louis that were yeah marginal. That's being kind. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were not the greatest. What? Oh, right. He hasn't had one yet. Oh, compared to the monkey shoulder. Oh, monkey shoulder. You know what? Uh, not uh, far off. I would I would call them both smooth scotches, Telex, but uh, I, I think the Singleton had a more buttery characteristic Correct. to it. Where, um, Salem? Where the uh, the monkey shoulder to me has a, a more malty profile, yeah, cherry, um, yeah, a little sweeter. Yeah, I enjoy the monkey shoulder. Uh, so I have a buddy at work now that I. I'll tell you what, for a for an entry level, it's his go-to right now. Cheap really? scotch, that you, you know, that you don't feel guilty having no. two or three glasses. It's actually really. Or good. drinking a whole bottle sitting in New Orleans. Um, I'm just saying that that occasionally happens. I feel a little guilty right? about doing that. <laughs> so Robert Hammond talks about take you back to for the, the bourbon so fans. So all of our bourbon fans, oh, here, you tried the Hill Rock Solera. Uh, you crave slider. Ooh, no, I uh, have not. That hurts. Okay, so we don't have any experience of that. Let me they say, say Hill awesome. Rock. What is it? Hill Rock Solera. So I, Solera. I want to note these, that yeah. where you get these huge kept barrels, you know, like what are these big vats essentially of um, of whiskey, mm -hmm. and you just. You essentially continually, continually add to the top, and you continually pull out the bottom, so it, it all kind of merges into Hill Rock. Hill, Hill, Hill Rock, H I L L R O C K, yeah. one brand, one name, and then Hill Solera. 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 S O L E R A. I'm gonna search. Oh place. man, we got. If we only had an internet device in our hand that we could use to search. Oh, that would be great. Boom. Done. Let's right. whisper it. Solera. What did you used to have to do when you had like? Research. Oh. Well, Encyclopedia Britannica. I was going to say. <laughs> and it's it way was, behind on the And if it wasn't there, then it didn't exist. <laughs> it didn't exist. Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah. Whiskey. Yeah. 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 Wine barrel. Finish. I mean, how old do you think you have to be to have that? It, it sounds delicious. Canadian mm -hmm. whiskey exactly meets exactly. bourbon. Yeah, we did too. Meets but you Cali don't. can. Right no, not right now. I mean, like, that's so fantastic. So, what's the price point? How old would you Yeah, that's a good question. So, what's the price point of the Conroy wine barrel? What? I bet if you're 25, you don't. Ooh, $100 for bourbon? It's pricey. The rock is pricey. Wow. It's in a pretty bottle. Yeah, so we're seeing it. We're looking at the Hell Rock online, and it's $100 for that stuff. I've seen that. It's a $100 bourbon. Whiskey Hunter's on Whiskey Hunter, hey, what's going on? How you doing, Whiskey Hunter? Yes, we do have lots of new faces. Maybe we need to go around with the horn 
on, on all the new faces we got here. Some of these guys have been on videos with us before. Yeah. So Mike's over there eating the uh, White Castle. <laughs> Chad's eating the White Castle. He's got a half marathon coming up. <laughs> yeah. You guys know who I am. Someday. Uh, uh, Tony. Tony, I will be eating another White Castle. <laughs> That's why he brought it. I may actually have them. They are sure. And when you and Eric's over here, he's our uh, our newbie. Newbie, yeah. trying newbie. some things out. Bourbon so, uh, whiskey guy, trying to get yeah. him into scotch. We'll yeah, see what happens. So we'll see what happens. We like to make converts. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it doesn't, we got lots of. It's all about it's all about finding the right scotch for you. Absolutely. That is why. Although I love you can open that up. You, you saving that forever? You don't buy not scotch. Free. Scotch by 120. Me. Single barrel. Specially bottled. Hand selected for Rick. Rick's boat Yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. I brought him. I'm choking this down, obviously. The nice I part really is, is that this they can't actually smell bottle. our breath over <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that whiskey yeah. had about yeah. mine and said, I miss the White Castle. Of course <laughs> you do. <laughs> Where are you, whiskey? It's white what you crave. White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> white Castle. Yeah, we got, we got a White Castle 30 over there. That's a great one to taste. Great year, great. <laughs> we got a, we got a good okay. debt. We okay. got a very very fun okay. time. Full body. Very oniony. Very full kind of body. Lots of onion, vegetables, vegetables, you know, I kind of thing. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of soggy buns. Soggy buns. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a soggy quality. Yeah, yeah, you get the bun, you, you get the onion, you don't get any meat. Because yeah. I'm not sure there's any meat in there. Well, but, uh, it smells exactly the yeah. same yeah. on each. Yeah. They tend to be in bigger amounts. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so we're going to have to have a break here. Yeah. 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 Question from Talos about the Talisker. We did, you did that Whiskey 5 with Talisker, and there was a year that you weren't. That the 25 was not, was the one that we didn't really care for. So that was two years ago, the 25 year. And it really wasn't, uh, and I've tried it since then. I've tried it a few times. And the 30-year is really good. There's just something that, it's not that the 25 is bad. It just doesn't taste, it doesn't have that Talisker flavor profile. It was really kind of bizarre. It lost that briny quality that I think of when I think of Talisker. And then the 30-year, it was back. I don't know where it went, but there you have it. Mm. So I, for the money, obviously, uh, I'm not sure what the price difference is between the 25 and the 30, but it's significant. So I wouldn't spend the money on the 25, though. I would get a lesser year, or I would splurge and get the 30. Yeah. That's just my opinion. All right, lots of comments Hoagies coming in. Hoagies would like to sit that Knob Creek. <laughs> we might have to send him. We might also. have a bourbon. You know, Jim says a uh, hundred dollar bourbon equates to three hundred dollars scotch. You can't spend that much for a bourbon. <laughs> yep. Ouch. But but, I, but look at Robert. Robert Hammond talks about. I finally cracked my sample of the King. Loving it. <laughs> you guys. You but would we still give it a four out of four? Based on all the new things we've got, all the different more flavors. I, I think we did when we uh, cracked I've open the it. second bottle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you you still know what? Like it? Yeah. Sample. Yeah, so that's the thing. So the King Alexander what? is the King Alexander. Oh, that is, and, and the reason the reason <laughs> I still give it a, a four out of four is because the layering of flavors in that bottle yeah. is unmatched in anything I've else I've tasted. <laughs> I've had some great Isla, you know, Pete Monster is one of my favorite. We almost yeah. give that a four because yeah. it's just yeah. such a rich we, we um, came out smoke the and the, the, the blend with sweetness and yeah, Pete Monster was great. But this, because it has like there? six different well, tags, it nice literally up. changes King as you sit as it sits in your mouth, no, no. and it just blows up. Out. And that's why I give <laughs> it like, a four, and I would still give it a four because of that. Some of those things when you open, I feel like a light's gonna come out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you open the crate. Same case. thing when I opened the crate. <laughs> yeah, same thing when you so open the crate. So our friend Tony here. It was a little here, lower. It was more of a lower. He's getting ready to move out of the area. So so he's kind of making the rounds of. You know, right there, man, you're me nervous. <laughs> because he's provided us some wow. good quality, so we're going to try that. I feel like there should be monks chanting right there now. Are, <laughs> there, there are some water. I, must need to clean. Hey, I did put some water in there. All right. Let me try some more. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're going to want to try a little bit of that one. Yes, you do. If you want to try something, it's just get them a clean glass. Hey, yeah, there you go. So th this, it's like a ritual. This is a glass. Bottle of water. Give you like a, give you a I got Do I get a, a clean yeah. glass? Do you have them over there? Oh, it's not. I think I've had some over there. There might be some over there. We can go with one. Right. Where is it? The, the water. 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 There you go. Uh, upstairs, as soon as you get to the top, go out through the garage and there's a fridge out. Okay. All right. Single barrel Jim Beam is surprisingly good. He has a story. Oh, Ooh. the story. He's, he's going to tell. He's going to tell. That sounds good. 
Alex Curry's been sawing it. <laughs> uh, oh, it involves, it involves my wife and my palette. girlfriend? Ooh, that sounds sensual. Dalmore Queen Alexandria? Man, I guess Hoagie doesn't have any respect for Dalmore. Which is unfortunate. Because they do well, that's a sweet here. nose. See, Hoagie, if you live closer, you could come over and have a glass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could. We would pour you a big one, too. That is a smooth nose. Very you smooth. can't walk it by without drinking our watch. You can't. Whiskey Hunter, good to see you, sir. I'm feeling figs on this nose. I feel a fig Newton on this nose. Anybody else? But it keeps Big changing. You said that last time. It keeps changing. You said Big Newton? Big Newton. Yes. Yes, yep. you did. Yep. Big yep. Newton. That's it was on the 100 review. Don't, these are my, these are my yeah. descriptions. That's crazy. And that's the beauty of Scotch. You this tastes watch. like a Big Newton. And I love cookies. <laughs> but I don't love cookies. <laughs> But, lucky for me. But a fig Newton's not a cookie. It's a fig not Newton, a cookie. It's a Newton is not. It's a Newton. And a Newton so, is not a cookie or right, a cake. It's right. a Newton. So I go back to, I enjoy All right. Oh, Tiger it. Bell's online. All right. Good to see you, Tiger Bell. We, when oh, was where she went? That water, or that crawfish boy. We were, uh, we were just discussing that uh, right, today. Before, right before you. So it's going to be soon. Oh, we're going to get that going. It's no. got to get it going. That's not. When you have to do two. When you have to chase Lafroy with White Castle, you know. You know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got a sink. Try that. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got a glass. Yeah, he's got a glass. But you can't have a glass that gets so whenever you. So you. He's got the This is the King Alexander. Oh. But you can't have that after that. Yeah, don't. Don't eat the White Castle and then give your. So oh man, now cinnamon. Oh, that's so good. Cinnamon. And All right, so, so John, bun. John, John's been uh, sharing bits of his story or, or online here, so let's talk through okay. some of this. Um, let's see what you got. So Single Barrel Jim is surprisingly good, and his story involves his girlfriend and her palate. Yeah, yeah. They were drinking Glen Farkas 10, went to refill hers, mixed oh, JB yes. Single Barrel and Jameson, and she couldn't tell the difference. Whoa. What? Between what? Jim Beam. Between Glenn Fockless 10 and then mixed Jim Beam, single barrel, and Jameson. Couldn't tell that was difference. So there are no more expensive bottles left in your house. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds like a good call. Yes. yes. I would say Don't so. spend Thank the three. money on people that don't know what <laughs> 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 I will up some in the Scotch drinking business. Yes, it is. Great. Wow, that's great. <laughs> so it, has any have any of you online posted a photo of what you're drinking to the Facebook? Talk page? to us, because Tiger. You guys usually get on there. Tiger Bell's on there. I don't know if we need. Last week, I know they were doing the Jura. They had the Jura zone. I got a lot of salt on that in the last one. It's kind of a salty. So we got two, we got two lights, but nobody's posted on it. Like a salty caramel. That's really good. Twenty. I get that yep. fig and plum. What do you have there? The fig Newton nose is two forty. Two forty for twenty one. We can get that cheaper than that. Yeah. We already drank well. Yeah. We've we've gone through two or three bottles of that. That's good stuff. Good Elijah Craig, what is that? Look what they're look what they're saying on that. That's a twelve. What? Yeah, I know. My father. -in -law that's why. That. I, that's why I really don't like this site. What's My father-in-law has got that's a Elijah BS, Craig 20 Because three. these people want to make double or triple their money. What size is that? It's a not, it's a, uh, pay too much for a lottery account. site. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> See, so there's a, there's a secondary market for bourbon? There is. Yeah. Bourbon secondary market. Well, it's you just buy, like Scotch. You buy got it a lot and of, then you uh, sell it online. Rare and allocated you know, are, are they items. actually getting that for it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, because that people don't want to. I well, think shipping. Well, so Taylor, shipping comes with it. I was telling you about. This guy has paid for it for fifteen. That's yeah, it's dumb. Eighty bucks. At the yeah, liquor store. So the, the so we're talking about the, uh, a bourbon secondary market where you can because we live in Indiana and you can get bourbons really they're really accessible. Four grand two twenty. There's no. a secondary bourbon, where you, bourbon market where you can buy that bottle and you sell it online. But I'm not. Whatever you whatever you get. And how much? A lot of these bottles are looking at that we have on the bar here. Say it's they're asking twice the, the, the list price, the retail I'll price. Here somebody else will have it. Not a great idea. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to drink that bottle. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. that's what happens to every bottle on this bar. I, All right. I don't, I don't, I don't collect I don't anything. buy any of my stuff for 
prop and I just Woodford Reserve. I enjoy Woodford Reserve. It's a great so, bourbon. Yeah, so there's bur bourbon question. Woodford Reserve. Okay. You get a thirty-five dollars liquor store. Went to the distillery, picked out their own cask, fifty dollars a liter. Oh, for a liter. I love Woodford. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so Woodford Reserve. Yeah. But no, yeah. you can get a thirty-five dollars at a liquor store. Yeah, that's yeah. anywhere. Yeah, that's anywhere. Yeah. Why would you pay fifty dollars at for a liter though? You get a little more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a little bit. And if it's a bigger bottle. And if it's a single barrel, maybe it is, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Corey Martin showed up to join us. Hey. Corey, how you doing, sir? Big Papa. No problem being late. Which Ooh. one is Big Papa? Corey Martin. Oh. <laughs> well, one of us was Big Papa. No. <laughs> well, I was hoping. Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the wife to call you that way. Okay. <laughs> She's not going to. All right, so Telex, Telex is always good about asking us good questions. So. He's asking, as LaFroigan or to catch up with casts and longevity, do you think the non-age statement releases will slow down and go back to age statements? So that's what, what's happening is, you know, the I Scotch market is like hot right age now. Statements. Well, it, the Scotch market is really it's hot right to now. Contain. It's and harder so to build. Whiskey it, market in general. Yeah, and so if, yeah. You've got to, if you need to put 12 years, well, you needed to bottle that 12 years ago when the market wasn't hot, and you were just going to fill up your warehouse with nothing. So now that it's hot, they got three years that are coming due that, hey, I could sell these. That's a good balance. I, I don't know if there's going to be any material left for 12 or 15, 18 year old scotch that's coming down because they're, they're, they're selling it as fast as they can make it, essentially, right now. I don't. I mean, all this stuff goes know. in cycles. So I, I think eventually the market will calm down a little bit. You know, it the, does. Absolutely. It's like a seven year cycle. The part to me that's annoying isn't that entry level stuff. It's the higher end stuff that people are buying as an investment and then trying to sell it for double or triple yeah, the price. Uh, yeah. You know, so it prices out people that actually enjoy that that whiskey and want right. to just buy it to drink it. Yeah. I'm not buying it to put it on my shelf and look at it. I'm no buying it to way. open that thing up and drink it. Taste it. <laughs> Taste We've it got bottles up. back here that I've been dying to open. Yes. We may have to open them just because Mark and Drew are gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that usually works. But, you know, in all honesty, I mean, yeah. you know, a lot of you guys are out there collecting scotches and bourbons and, and uh, whiskey, you know, Japanese whiskey, stuff like that. Japanese market's hot, too. Oh, yeah, it is. Hard. You know, and, it's, right and they make some good stuff. You know, the problem I, mean, yes. I have is, you know, you've got people buying this stuff up that, have, that don't want to drink it. They just want to hold it, That's you know. Yeah. And so That's they're true. in the market to make money. Nothing on I bar. That's awesome. Has to do Go to the stock market. Holding on to it so I can sell it for <laughs> right. a You know, I'm, I'm trying to buy this stuff to drink it. Yeah. So something good I might save so, for a special occasion that I feel right. Like right. is the special occasion, but it's going to be open. I'm not going to sell it. I think the, um, the non niche statements will probably be around for a while, but I, what I think is going to happen, and there are some distillers doing this. Where the non age statements are really good mixes. And, yeah. and, and what they usually do is they'll start with a, a young and then add a bunch of really old, good, rich flavored scotches yeah. to them. And so you get a non age that may, the average age may be eight or 12 years or something because you've got or older. Of good stuff in it. But, the, but they happen to have a three year in there, so they don't want to say it's a three year scotch. But you get really good quality scotch. There, there are some that were going around, the Peat Monster, and some, some of those other. Those blends. those blends, they're they're not aged, but they're really good quality. And I'm okay willing to pay for those because they're good good quality. But it's money, and I and I respect that a company has to keep open um, in a cyclical market with that much. So I, I work in a manufacturing environment, and if I had to plan what the market was going to be 12 years from now, <laughs> no way. Right. There's no. I don't know how you do that. So. From a manufacturing and a you, business you really standpoint, can't. I mean, oh, you, yeah. you have to react to the market as it happens and yeah. figure out what you're going to do at that point. Yep. Like talking so, in bourbon, like I have my brother-in-law, when I start talking about Pappy Van Winkle, he's like, oh, I used to buy that all the time. <laughs> for like, nothing. Yeah, for like 50 bucks a bottle yep. at the liquor store, and they'd have multitudes of it. They're like now, giving it away. It's yeah, on sale. Yeah, yeah. and now you can't. You no, can't. you can't. You, you've got to go to an auction. You got to go to a VIP gathering, something like that, or you're spending How anywhere between four hundred dollars and you don't have eighteen hundred dollars for a bottle of Patty Van Winkle. We're all no, I didn't have one for. But yeah, 
yeah. 10, 15 years ago. You know the ago. ironic part? Even four years ago, I, got, I put oh, so my name in at a liquor store. Oh, okay. One, 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 yeah, it's all right, so we got a lot of comments coming through. Let me down. let me go through some of the comments that, that we're talking through here. Um, okay. All right. So with some, uh, Bradley there? Abbott's going with Monkey Shoulder, um, and we talked a little about the Woodford Reserve. Term. Jim Drawley likes Woodford Reserve. This is one of his favorites. Um, <laughs> that's a, Tiger Bell's having a really Highland Park 18. You remember yeah, Highland Park 18? We loved the Highland Park 18. Not really. Yeah, <laughs> your house. Actually, yeah, I remember yeah, drinking it, but I don't remember it. This was our source for Highland Park 18. Lot of guitar and then, I mean, great. Yeah, this uh, guy. Synthesizer. The falsetto he hits on Benny. <laughs> I wish I had it. I remember people saying it was fun, but <laughs> the hip action. I remember. So I got a question I'll, from I'll White Light Media. I'll take their word okay. for it. Before I drop $175, yes. is yeah. Mac edition, two, edition number two worth it? Ooh. We've never had that. Ooh. That is probably above our price range right now, I and mean, we're working on working through those. But, uh, I mean, so, but I bet there's not. People, I don't know if Hoagie's had some of that, but let's let, let's start the discussion online. If anybody's had that, and we can maybe get some ideas on it. Which All right, um, it's Mac it's edition. So it's McAllen edition I'm too. Which we, down, we, I haven't even seen any information on. Uh, we've got some Belvini 12 here. Single barrels going. Very um, nice. Sean, open, open, open. That that's because I was talking about opening up some oh, stuff. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. We're, we're way behind you. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so opening of bottles. See, Corey Martin, I'm with you. I've got bottles down here that I haven't opened yet that I will open at a later date. I'm when not going to sell them. It's not a profit thing. When he's around, better pump. I just haven't gotten around to yeah. it. Well, we're way behind. Telex is a drinker, not a holder, which I agree. I think um, everybody on this comment stream is a drinker, yeah. not a holder. Why? You know what I mean? So if you guys are in Japanese whiskey, look for Nika. I've heard you. great you're things about Nika. Nika. You're still um, so it's it's Alex, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, drink it. Yeah. All right. So um, the 12-year single barrel is not really available in Germany. The 15-year sherry casks is available in Indianapolis, it is. And uh, we just got that. But they do ask a premium. Yes, they right. do. <laughs> so yeah, that's, but that's, it's that's beautiful. Aber or Ab Abunag or Ab Abunda, depending on who you talk Abunda. to. Yeah. Um, that's a good sherry bomb, Nani. Oof. Duncan, we we've got stories about <laughs> Abor, and that particular bottle just hurts me. <laughs> hurts why, me. good or bad? It's bad. I mm -hmm. I don't know why. So would we have because I don't know if you know this or not, but I can drink and be out. fine. And for some reason, that bottle, I wake up the next day and I know that. So, I so Doug, nope. go, go look at our review for the Avalor Abunad or Abunda, depending on who you talk to. Um, it's one that we, I really had to search for the Don't right water amount Don't do it. because it <laughs> it changed so much that I, I had to I had to look for it. So that was that was tough. Um, so oh. did I miss this already? Oh yeah. So Jim Dryley talked about his best NAS is a Signet. Oh yeah, Glen Range Signet. We've got a bottle. We've of that. got that one sitting right back here. We're working on getting that into the review cycle, but all of our we really enjoyed that bottle. Gone. Though we went to a tasting and uh, talked to the ambassador. Yep. It's a great bottle. Yep. Wow, so what's people. their what's at Glen Range's? Baseline is it a ten or twelve? They've got a. It's 10. like twenty eight bucks. It's a ten. It's their, their uh, 10 Glen, Glen Range original. Yeah, yes. and it's a ten year. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's almost that one. I don't so. enjoy. <laughs> no, and no, I think I that that's either. a good example where they put their their baseline so low that I have trouble going for their higher levels. So. You know, it's funny because the uh, the eighteen uh, I enjoyed, uh, but it's almost like a food scotch. You almost have to. You drink it while castle. you're eating you know, white castle. You're like a, uh, like actually, a actually this one is gonna <laughs> go in our food white castle. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I'm, cool. I'm doing a food edition, so that um, one will be uh I'm cooking for everybody. Like, like white castle. Yeah. 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 Little scotch white so, castle. Right, so, out this, the this, a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of love. Oh! oh so we did we did get a comment that they're liking the the collage, the white castle collage. Robert Brian likes that. Um, <laughs> so we get a lot of love for Avalor, not only the Avonad, but the also the 18 and the 16. Um, I'll tell you what, it's a good label. Yeah, and I enjoy it. I agree that we, we should try more. 
Yeah, we just, we've had a couple, and, and, there's and a few we've enjoyed them. On the market, we're trying to get around to them. Yeah, we've got a few up here that we still need to hit. So, John DeVoe, Abunad is amazing. I find a full tablespoon of water for each dram mm. is perfect. That's probably about where we I would be too, because you need a lot of water to really pull pull the flavor out. Otherwise, it's just I don't even. It's it's too much. Too much. Too much. And even when I put water on it, for some reason, it just it's my got hair to too today. much. I don't know so why. Duncan just watched our uh, the Halloween one is when he did it. So yeah. So yeah, that. Uh, what is this, this? past Halloween? It was a week Halloween before. Yeah, it had been last Halloween. Yeah. So that was it's sixty. 0.7% alcohol. Oh, so it's over 1.3. It it's just onion. All the bone. <laughs> just playing the kids, right? Yeah. Damn. That's okay. It's good. It's not your basement. You ain't okay. <laughs> so, so Jim, Jim was asking <laughs> about the neighbor. Jack, we should go to my house and just trash that one. I mean, yeah. 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 It's for sale. It's sold. Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, he's pulling this big. <laughs> right, uh, uh, yeah, I saw you. Yeah. So, uh, there are homes for sale in our neighborhood. Um, you could yeah. be our neighbor. <laughs> yes, no, no, Jim was asking, are you taking my gastrointestinal issues with Abunat? It's really more a headache. No, it's, it's, I don't know. It's like when home. I drink a lot of red wine and, and get dehydrated the next day, and just have that headache. And I can drink cast strength stuff all night long. Yeah, you can. No problems. But for some reason, that one bottle is the one bottle that I always wake up the next morning and know that I had a glass, even if it's just one glass. No even kidding. if we just had a couple of glasses and I and one of them happened to be that one, I don't know what it is about that bottle. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to drink it. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, is it time? Oh, so so our, our bourbon fans have said enough of enough of the scotch. Going back to my. My favorite. So you got the whistle pig going. We got a little bit of that. A little of rye. Cool. He loves that rye. I'm oh. sorry, man. <laughs> I, I can't love that rye. That's, <laughs> that, that sourness. Oh, look at him going for that rye. Try. He's going to try the rye. Try that first. I did try that. We That's good. What do you like about it? So talk, talk, talk to me. This, so this is a guy that hasn't tried the, the King Alexander. Well, let's. Let, you don't drink scotch. It's not your forte. For later. When you taste something, yeah. man, you're not going so to so He doesn't drink scotch, so. but coincidentally, he did not have a beard when he first got down here. <laughs> Strictly coincidental. <laughs> so tell me what you taste of Neither did I. Look at your flavor, Will. Wait, 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 wait. Dig all the White Castle out. Get rid of the onion smell. He is the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Tonight he is. It's all good, right? <laughs> oh, it smells there. sweet. It smells yeah. sweet. The sweetness in there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> to be an unforgiving bitch when freshly opened. Take one. Be unforgiving. Taste some pepper. Pepper, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Does it change as you as it just yeah. sits there? Because it's kind of hot, but it gets smooth. Oh, it's smooth. It's amazing. Isn't I it? like it. Yeah, it's everything. That's the thing. So the king does have that flavor that just. Changes. You get the, the sweet, good. smoke. You get some apple. Yeah, you get some, some sherry. It just it all rotates through. Okay, what kind that of one? Is? What is it? That one's by far better than. Oh, that's the LED. The oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is absolutely yeah, it's better than it's it's like, like, Yeah. Huh? What are you looking at? Whoa! You got the lights going. Oh. And the strippers are on there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my wife. Drew and Mark are gonna miss the strippers. Need a little techno music. Yeah. Thank goodness my wife said she wasn't going to watch. Yeah, yeah I would, let me see if I can figure out how many people we got online right now. We're 45 minutes into the show. Yeah. We're going to prop our screens up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that thing's awesome. I'm pissed that we can't get any more of that. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was quite so. Dry. There's only one more That's bottle in, the, in this neighborhood. And it's at Mark's house. Yeah. Oh, that's gone. You know why? Nobody's home right now. All right. We've hammered my bottle. Mark's still got a full. Nobody's home. Right? 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 Who's watching his dog? Uh, it must be the sequence. Yeah. No, it's not this morning, Thursdays, I'm on complete kid solo duty. My wife goes to, to work, right? It's about time. Well, that's selfish. Of yeah, me, but okay. Take the <laughs> doors and off your jeep. We have the puppy at home, about eight months old now, uh -huh. right? And I am, I woke up late. 
Right. Right. Sure. Late. Woke up late. My kids woke up late. I'm scrambling to get out of the house. My daughter's got to go to camps. Caleb goes to the, the basketball camp. Like, we're going in different directions. God, we got lunch. We got all this stuff, right? <laughs> and I am in a huge hurry getting out of the house. And I get out of the house, right? Get my daughter to camp on time. Get Caleb to camp, camp on time. And I'm watching him. And I'm sitting there talking on the phone to my boss. And I'm like, holy shit. I didn't put the dog in the kennel. Oh, no. I left her out <laughs> no, for over two show. hours in the house. Yeah. Nothing. What? She chilled. She nice. laid on the couch. Wow. Chilled. Uh, oh, that bastard's coming. Back. Oh, it was yeah. awesome. Uh, my dog would have pooped for spite. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so my if favorite, anybody's ever seen this on the picture. internet, the last time my wife was not watching my dog, we had one of those eye robot things, the robot vacuums. Oh yeah. And those don't little have things, a dog in an eye robot. And those little things <laughs> get very courageous when a dog poops on the floor. You yeah. and they, so you hear that story? Oh yeah, you just and they the think on the post. They the video? think no. Yeah, well, no. we didn't post the video because it was disgusting. They think that they can <laughs> they can clean it up, and they start to like rock crawl over the top of oh. it, and then they proceed to drag it around the entire so, first yeah. floor of our house in a diagonal zigzag pattern no. until it got into the office. And Amber's like, "Really, you have to go outside." And she gets up, comes around the corner, oh, and there's stripes, stripes, and there's all brown that. stripes all uh, over uh, the first floor of our house. That uh, happened. So who do you scold, the robot or the dog? I sc scolded my wife. <laughs> yes. How'd that go over? <laughs> That's why I'm here. Right. That's why I'm here. <laughs> we call this the dog house. I sleep around the corner. There's a couch over there. Mike, um, there's Martin worse places church. to go. There's worse places to go. Right? We got a full bar and yeah, we can watch Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Black Dynamite. <laughs> Black it's so good. What are you right? drinking? He's having the exclusive cast. Oh yeah, exclusive them all. Good stuff. It's good stuff. So are we wrapping this up? Yeah, we think we need to wrap it up. Um, there's some talk about the uh, Stanley Cup, which I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, right what's that. going on? Predators they, tied they, up they the other night, wasn't it? So I lived in Nashville, go Predators, but they were down 4-0 to zero at the beginning of the second quarter, so I turned it off. Bad tree. What's going on there? Bad All right, tree. so it looks like we're wrapping it up. Okay, hold on. What do you got? Why can't do it? Dead air. <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. Dude, we don't want that air, man. Six nothing. Oh. Six nothing. Ooh. Bottom nights. Yeah. Ninth. Uh, Cubs. Ooh, one. Cubbies Rockies good. four. Uh oh. Cubbies are not one looking out. good. One out. Not looking good. Not overrated. Huh? Person on first. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch something else then. <clears throat> Cheers. How about some uh, John Wick? We can do that. John, John Wick. Oh. John Wick oh, and White Castle. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me join. See you next Thursday. Yeah.